Many business owners love referrals, though they seem like a scarce commodity, hard to, to come by and find. I believe that there is an abundance of referrals for each and every one of us. We just have to know where to look. And in today's video, we're going to talk about how to get unlimited referrals. I've recruited some of our Ascentive Mastermind community members to help us answer this question of how to get unlimited referrals. And in this video, we're going to ex be exploring where to get referrals, getting referrals from customers, how to get referrals, tips for getting business referrals, how to get referrals online, and how to get more referrals for your business. So we have lots and lots of ways that we're gonna be looking to get referrals. And if you're like, oh, I'm really excited about one of those, uh, down in the description below, you can actually skip ahead to one of the chapters. If you want, just click on the time and it will take you right there. So to start this off, I posed to some of our Ascentive Mastermind community members this question of how to get referrals on our Facebook group page. And here were a couple of the answers. Shannon shared, strategically network. Be present, listen, follow up, and be passionate about what you do and how you can help others by being genuinely interested in them. Sean Yesner shared, create the relationship relationships. Give without the expectation of receiving. Jason Avery shared, instead of focusing on finding one new transaction at a time, you should focus on finding and maintaining strategic reciprocal relationships which form revenue streams that last for years. These are my referral partners. This is the difference between having a better week or month and having a better life. So I love this idea of developing these relationships with the right people, which leads us to where to get referrals. And I actually had a couple of our Ascentive Mastermind community members, ladies, jump on the camera to answer this question. So I'm gonna shoot it over to Mercedes Bunce to, to talk a little bit about these relationships. A quick answer versus the long answer is develop relationships with the right people. So if you think about it, a referral to a client is good. People are happy with that. But think about how much um, a referral to a referral partner. That is great. But what's even better is to a referral is a referral to a referral partner that has the same ideal client as you. How awesome is that? Someone who is consistently every day, day in, day out, seeing the same type of client that you would love to see in your business. So Think about who your, your ideal referral partner is. That's something that uh, Tiffany helped me in the Ignite Your Business program to do. So once you've identified it, finding such a person is, is a totally different thing. <laughs> but she can help you with that too. Thanks, Mercedes. And to kind of echo this, let's go over to Melinda. Well, there are a couple ways that I do that, but one of the most effective ways for me to do that is by developing referral partnerships, strategic partners and other with other people in the health and wellness sphere. Um, I've been working on developing relationships with multiple people in health and wellness, and some of the my best referrals come from people like chiropractors, dentists, orthodontists, pain management doctors, and private practice concierge medical professionals. Um, we can send referrals back and forth to each other, and we're all working with the same target client in mind with the same goal, which is to help that person feel better. Oops, before she gets to the, the second component of that, I, I want us to switch gears because we've been talking about those referral relationships. We do really wanna work those, work those well. Um, I actually have a program called More Referrals, Five Steps to Referral Success. It does heavily focus on these referral relationships. I will put the link in the description below should you want to join us for this free program. Now, we want to talk about getting referrals from customers, so I'm going to kick it back over to Melinda to let her finish her, her second way she feels about getting unlimited referrals. The second approach that we use really is an education piece with our patients. We're big proponents of educating our clients and asking lots of probing questions, asking them how they live their lives, who are the people that they know that could benefit from what we do in our practice. And actually more than 50% of our referrals come from existing or previous patients. So that's a great way for us to develop that referral pipeline. Love the idea, Melinda. We want to work those relationships with our customers. And so we often think, okay, we've got these customers that we're happy. How do we get the referrals? 
And there's a technique that I like to use, asking for referrals. Now, most people, when they're asking for the referrals, they're just saying, hey, do you know anybody that needs my product or service? And uh, that is not what we do. That is not how it works. Instead, what we want to do is we want to share, I'm expanding my business and I need your help. Who do you know who? And then insert a specific referral request. What will happen with this is it gives us the opportunity to make it easy for the person that we're talking to. And this could be a referral source. This could be a client to think, you know, who do I know who owns a business that likes to play golf? Who do I know who works for the Chamber of Commerce office? And I, I have way more. Uh, we talk about this a lot more in the more referrals, five step to referral success. I also have a whole video on how to ask for referrals from your clients. So you can check that out for more on, on making this happen. So next, let's talk about tips for getting referrals. As I mentioned a minute ago, we want to be specific. And we actually have a saying, be specific to be terrific. The more specific you can be about the exact referral that you're looking for, the more likely you are to get it. And just as a, a, a fun illustration, one day I asked my husband, hey, honey, you want me anything from the grocery store? And he's like, yeah, give me some beer. And I'm like, what kind? And he's like, you know what I like? And that's a really hard thing because it's like he likes everything except Bud Light, Miller's Light, Coors Light, and Petrus. So, I mean, he likes all of it. And so I was just a little overwhelmed. So I'm like, can you give me a little hint? And he was like, okay, how about a brown ale? So I'm not actually going to the grocery store. I was Instacarting it. So I put in my phone, brown ale. Up came four beer choices, three of which were not brown ales. So I was easily able to say, honey's getting Newcastle today. And it made it so much easier for me. When you're asking for people for referrals, you want to do the same. You want to make it easy on them. If I say, who do you know that needs my product or service? I have to figure out exactly what you're looking for. Your job is to make it easy for us to refer you. So if you can tell us the name of a person, the name of a company, uh, the name of a neighborhood they live in. I remember I was having a conversation with a PNC insurance agent and he was having issues getting people referring him car insurance. He's like, well, everybody has a car. I'm like, yeah, but it's too big. It's too broad. And I was like, so what's your favorite car? Like the dream car. And he's like, I want a classic Corvette. I'm like, brilliant. Love it. Cool. So that's what you're going to start asking people for. And he's like, Tiffany, most people don't have a classic Corvette. Like, see what happens. So he tried this at one of his networking groups and got six referrals. Three were classic cars, two were Corvettes. None of them were classic Corvettes. And one was like something else. I don't remember. The way the human mind works is we can go from really specific and work our way out, but we can't go from really generic and work our way in. So we want to be specific to be terrific um, when it comes to generating those referrals. Also, if you want to get more referrals, make it easy. If somebody has a referral for a speaking engagement for me, I have a script, an email that they can send on my behalf so they don't have to write it up, they can send over. Um, if somebody's talking about me on social media, I have like, here's a paragraph you can cut and paste. If people want to refer to me, I'm like, here's how you refer into a free so they can see and then they can buy. So do you have a trial? Like to me, our goal is to make it as easy as possible for people to be able to refer us. And lastly, if you want to be getting more referrals, you want to be giving more referrals. I've got another video that's all about how to get more referrals, and it'll actually walk you through exactly how many referrals you need to give in order to hit your revenue goal. So check that out. And those are a couple tips on getting more referrals. Now, I guess this is still a tip, but it's got its own little subheading, how to get more referrals online. I love to take this. I'm expanding my business and I need your help. Who do you know who? And put it out there on social media. One of our Ascentive Mastermind community members, Danielle Rush, did this and created a client halfway across, well, all the way across the country, almost halfway across the world. So turning it over to Danielle. You asked us in one of our group sessions to post online, just ask for referrals on social media, what we were looking for. And so I did, which I don't know why we post on social media all the time, but whenever you ask me to do it, it feels very exposing and I don't want to, but I did it. I want to, because I have an online platform and you can sign up for yoga classes as a subscription service with me, I posted out, I want more clients in, I want a client in every state, right? And one of my partners tagged someone. And now I have a client of someone who lives in Alaska off grid. And if you want to practice this asking for referrals in the comments below, do me a favor, type in, I'm expanding my business and I need your help. Who do you know who? And give us an uber specific referral request. 
While you're down there, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more videos on how to make more money, more time, and more fun by getting more referrals. Our last conversation on how to get more referrals for your business, uh, Ascentive Mastermind community member and facilitator, Tom Fleming shared this. VCP your network database, then consult with Tiffany on what to do next. Next steps as possibilities are too many here to list. Bottom line is we're all leaving easy revenues on the table. Thanks so much, Tom. And what Tom's referring to is we have a program called Ascentives Ignite Your Business Program. This is a 10 module program, two and a half hours per module, where we dive deep into this idea of how to create unlimited referrals. How do we have the steady flow of referrals into our business all day, every day? And one of the things I love about it is it's not let me go out and meet hundreds or thousands of people. It's how do we identify the right four, six or eight people that can pass you referrals all day, every day. That's what we're looking for. There are unlimited referrals out there. We just have to surround ourselves with the right people that can get us to those referrals. Happy networking, y'all. Are you thinking it would be beneficial for you to get more referrals? Because more referrals could be more money, more time, more fun for you. Well, I've got the thing just for you. Pop over to my website and you can enroll in our More Referrals, Five Steps to Referral Success. Over five weeks, you'll get five tips on how to get more referrals for your business to help you hit those goals and take things to the next level. So be sure to sign up today, More Referrals, Five Steps for Referral Success, and I look forward to seeing you soon.